What's up guys, I have Hub Maniac here, and today I'm bringing you an app review on the app Gravity Guy, and that's what the icon looks like. Now, I'm sure most of you have already heard about this game, but for those of you that haven't, what this is, is a game where you basically, your gravity is going down, and when you click the screen, it'll flip it to go up, and then your guy will fall upwards instead, and you want to jump all around and like, through obstacles and different courses that sometimes you have to memorize, and it can be very addicting. And, oh, look at that, there's a little news. Um, yeah, it's boring, I don't want to play that game. So anyways, right here is the basic menu, it's got a cool, it's got this game, before I go into it, it has some pretty good graphics. They, I think it has retina display now, I'm not positive. But, I mean, it looks nice, I don't think this camera is giving it credibility. But yeah, there's the play, there's options, and in the options you can turn on music, the background, or you can have sound effects, and you can reset all the scores so it goes back to zero. And the scores, yeah, I don't want to go into that, but whatever, leaderboards. Sure, you can just look and see where you rank and whatever. You can look at your achievements as credits, no one cares about that. Anyways, play. So this is another app that I like about it because it is two-player. So you can go multiplayer, you can have one person tap the left side, one person tap the right side, or it's top or bottom, I don't remember. But yeah, you control two different guys and you want to see who falls off first. And you'll understand more once I go into single player. And in single player, there's story, which is just, whoops. First one to get to, you have to see how quickly you can get to the end, like without from falling off the least. There's an endless, which I think I might have clicked on an accident, which you just go on forever until you fall off. And then there is the practice, which is just training, you know. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is endless. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay. So right here, you want to push, whenever you tap the screen, it flips the gravity, and you want to dodge all these obstacles. Now, you have to make sure this guy doesn't catch up to you. Whoops, play again. If that guy behind you catches up to you, then you lose and he will, like, kill you. If and then that happens, if you, like, say you stop, like, right here, then he'll come up, like, here, I'll show you, like that, he'll come up and shoot you. So, yeah, you just want to keep going, tap, and go as far as possible. And, yeah, you might think, oh, that's, that's boring, but no, here. Let me see if I can get somewhere farther and show you where it gets more difficult. I don't know if I can on the, through the camera, because it's pretty difficult to play through here. But, yeah flip, you know, there's these little things, oh wow, that's hard, yeah, but later on you're going to have to memorize stuff, and you can see, look, this, just that in itself, changing the color makes it trickier in the eyes, and yeah, you just have to have a lot of quick thinking, and um, be able to kind of predict where you think the game developers are going to, like, the next move they pull, oh, see, like that, I tapped up and it was supposed to go down, and then I lost. And there's, there's your high score, and this is the current score. And up here, you have the score that will move. It will continue to increase as you go right. And underneath it, it will show your best score, which is the goal you are trying to beat. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's also a story mode. That's cool. I'm not going to go into it. But um, it's basically, it's um, it has a certain level, and you want to try and get to it as fast as possible, obviously. And then whoever scores the most points... Um, gets the highest points on the leaderboards and you can try and get the first. I'm not really positive about how the leaderboards work or the point system because I've tried to like, I've played it and I'm like sitting there trying to think about it, like how does it work and I couldn't figure it out. But, and yeah, whatever. Hope you guys like this app review. Oh, and um, one more thing. Uh, if you have any apps you want to send me, any apps you want, bleh, want me to to review, put it in the comments below. And also, I've been watching a couple reviews, and some people have been giving them stars, like, want 4 to 5, or like 9 out of 10, or whatever. If you want me to start doing that, and you think that'll be more helpful for you to decide what game you want to, what apps you want to use, um, let me know, too, in the description, if you actually, if you want me to start rating my apps and everything, and I will start doing that. Alright, see you guys later.